Hey everyone, taking a look at SwiftPower.com's rankings today. Brief explanation. Navigate to SwiftPower.com on the homepage, rankings, individual. This is where you see all of the rankings. We're going to do a few videos where we take a look at some specific examples on how people are scoring well. I'm doing that in a different video though today. I'm going to come right up top to the frequently asked questions. And I invite you to read through this. This is good information. This explains everything out in detail and gives good concrete examples for you to follow along. So the, the big picture here though is that rankings are between zero and 600 points. You are calculated based on your best five results. Fewer points is better. So when you start, you'll have five races if you've never raced before and all five of them will be 600 points because scoring fewer points gets you a higher rank so you want to have lower and lower points we'll go back to the uh, individual rankings and you'll see evidence of this the number one ranked a plus rider has 77.3 second place 77.49 a little bit higher number of points also a lower rank so you want to score as low as possible as far as number of points to get the highest rank so you take your five best results and average them that average equals 300 you would have a little higher rank than somebody who has scored an average of 300.5 you would have a little worse rank than somebody who has averaged five races to 299.9 would be a little worse than them in the rankings um, these do expire they fall off after three months so your result from a year ago two years ago three years ago you, you may have had a great result it just doesn't count anymore try and keep these relatively current so it's a three month window keep racing stay active in your races to get good results and stay high up on that uh leaderboard for these rankings um, so in general what we want to do is to improve your ranking you must beat riders who are currently ranked stronger that is going to uh, increase the race quality portion of the for formula so when you beat many riders who are better than you this quality score as a part of the formula goes way way up if you beat a bunch of riders but they're all slow or all new and they don't have any score yet they're all a bunch of 600s it's not going to help your ranking as much so part of this um, um, pursuit of a high ranking should be to find the highest quality races high quality races have high quality opponents those then beating those high quality opponents is what's going to get you a better rank this walks you all through it if you don't get first place um, you know there's a, a system where you start to fall down they give you points per place a so second place maybe is you know a little a little lower than that so on and so forth um, again second place will always score a higher number of points than first place third place a higher number of points until you, you um, uh, obviously first place would get the lowest number and increase their rank the best. So these show up on, let's go back to the standings. If we pick, I don't know, one of the riders here. Each race then gets a score, number of points. That may or may not help your average. If you've got five awesome races and you end up with a, a medium kind of score that's not all that great and may not help your overall rank so here we go 109.65 92.5 these are for individual races so they scored 92.5 if the race helped your overall score you should see something in the gain category here so this 77.99 helped it was at the time one of the five that got averaged in 
they will appear here. You go to your race ranking, hit the uh, info button, and here's your best five. And right up top, 77.75 is your average. So that's how it gets figured out. Stay current, keep racing, get five races in at a minimum over the last um, uh, three months so that you get five scored races into your calculation and lower that average number of points as best as possible. I'm going to deep dive into a few particular racers, racers on how they manage to get such low scores in coming videos. Do me a favor, help the channel out, like this video, subscribe to the channel, get notified so that uh, we can grow. Thanks a lot.